Paris. You have a fingerprint scanner. You know I'm never gonna. Go fuck correctly. yourself, Paris. Just gentlemen to the Drawing Blanks podcast. I'm Paris, this is Brandon, and this is, this is Dylan. Why are you laughing, Brandon? Because we're in the same episode too. He's been bullshitting around before we even started this That's podcast. No way, hasn't. And our special guest, Max Payne. The third one. Max Payne 3. All right, guys, we have wow. seven. That's pretty sad. Our guest is, this is, is a statue. This is episode two. Episode two. Episode, episode three. three. Episode two. Six. All right, I have seven topics for you guys today. All right. For us. Number one, Star Wars VR. Have you even heard anything about this? Yes, I have. Okay. Are you lying like usual? As <laughs> usual. <laughs> He's lying like <laughs> usual. A lying sack of shit. All right, you play Star Wars Battlefront at all? Yes. You have, you obviously had. I love you. You're really good at no, it. I love it. Like I played it. Thank you. He is really good at it. First time we played. We sat 13 down. 13 and 0? 13 and 1. No, you were like one. 22 and 0. Oh, well, 20 and 1. I got that one death. I remember he had one death. Yeah, because it was right at the end when the It was pretty crazy. I'm like, when is he going to die? He just <laughs> never died in the whole match. All right, so 22 and 1, my first match ever. And then I went, one time I was 63 and 11. Holy shit. <laughs> it was fresh. That's intense. It was fresh. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. All right, Star Wars VR. I don't know what they're going to do with this. Uh, probably virtual reality Star Wars. They're going to push it into Star Wars. No, I mean, like, how they're going to implement it into the VR. I don't understand. It's that. like every other VR game. They put you in. Like, what do you think they're going to make you do? Like, is it the... Is Shoot. it just Star Wars Battlefront? But just VR. As VR, just like, the same game. I'm pretty sure it's the same game. They'll probably have, like, more shit you can do. Okay, I think... I'm they thinking they'll have you, uh, let you ride the Millennium Falcon. Which okay, fucking that awesome. would be awesome. Like, uh, like um, maybe like even if just the loading screen is Millennium Falcon, you can just drive around real quick, start like avoiding uh, asteroids and shit. Then fuck. I am not excited place. for the virtual reality at all. So I'm just, I'm not convinced. You just, I'm you just, just not convinced it's gonna I'm be any good. Yeah. You're not like interested at all, like. Eh, uh, I don't really see. No, yeah. It I'm is not. weird, like putting yeah. on like a, a helmet. I don't know what they're gonna do with it. It's. I think horror games are gonna like horror games. Really, nice. horror yeah. games would be awesome. Like you might yeah. have a heart attack. Things, things might be horror games might become more popular. But one thing I would really like them to do with Star Wars VR is like lightsaber battles. In VR, would be yeah, that's, I'm wondering how they would pull that off. Well, there's the motion controllers for the VR. It's true, they got that. Yeah, but so like, you that. but like, how do you run around then if you're holding this guy's yeah, lightsaber? Like, I think uh, it's like a controller. You're just using Oh, yeah, the no, yeah, they do have analog sticks on the motion controls. Yeah, Brandon, you're just using, like, the controller. Yeah, but if you're holding a lightsaber... I think, okay, I know what you mean, yeah. but I, think, I don't think you're holding one. I think, like, you're in that first-person view. Unless they make the, con the, the lightsaber control have, like, a pad on it and a couple buttons, No, it's with a motion controller. Oh, <coughs> uh, well... Yeah, uh, it's just, like, you use the controller, you press, like, I don't know what it is to swing your lightsaber in battlefront. Probably like R2. Square or something. I don't even play with it. Square. Yeah, like say it's square, you'd press square and you're just you're just in that first person view as the stormtrooper or whatever using the lightsaber. Stormtrooper. <laughs> something just fell. No, no, nothing, nothing fell. fell. <laughs> Why did you mention? I know. <laughs> Alright, anything yeah. else to add to the topic one? No. Star Wars no. VR. Are you interested? Absolutely not. Absolutely you just said not. Wasn't interested in I know. Dylan, are you yeah, interested? I am fucking interested. I What are uh, the odds you get it? One hundred percent, Brandon. I'm so already to it. Okay. <laughs> the day it comes I out. Can, I can get it in... No, no, you didn't say the day it came out. No, no, I can no, get it in 11 no, years, no. I still got it. <laughs> piece of shit. He's the piece of shit here. I'm kind of interested. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. When they start starting right. front of the PS4. Topic yeah. 2. <laughs> Evolution Studios. Dylan's favorite studio. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> no, it is. It is his favorite studio. So Evolution Studios is shut down. In Evolution Studios, it's uh, the guys behind Drive Club, Motor Storm, a few really other games. No one really cares about yeah. But the one that I'm most familiar with is Drive Club. I've heard of Motor Storm. Never played it. Drive Club's fresh. It's not Drive fresh. Club was the best. Uh, I don't want to say the best racing game. Um, okay, maybe the, it is. Maybe, maybe, no. the, maybe the best only racing game. You yeah, only simple racing game, racing game maybe. Because games like Burnout, I thought were better, but yeah, they got like Blur, which is way better. Blur, like yeah. stuff like that. But they were like they were focused on other things, so like yeah. destruction and all that. Midnight Club was good, but uh, Drive Club, like as a racing game, was actually really good. 
Um, it's sad that they got shut down. What do you guys think about that? Like, big fucking surprise there. <laughs> yeah, because when they first like launched the game, it had so Why are you many staring? online there's, issues. There's nothing there. He's literally just staring at a list of things. There are talk. no notes there. He's just staring at it and talking. It it's makes just a list. No sense <laughs> at all. It just looks like he's just like, oh, well, I'm gonna mention this point, this point, and this point, but there's nothing there. You like to interrupt me. I don't like to interrupt you. I like to. Where yeah, was I? Piss you off. <laughs> We don't need to just look at them, look into their souls. Look at them. Do you look at us, you can look at the fucking camera, it doesn't matter. I don't know, I'm just... I don't see, I don't see why like the camera's thing. Us right. and the 40 going people going that are going to view this. So obviously, Dylan, Dave, Brandon, they were having online issues when they first launched the game. And that just really brought the fan base of the game down. No, no one was really buying it. They were just having a lot of issues, so a lot of their staff members got... Well, I mean, unemployed now. <laughs> <laughs> Last March, they unemployed like 40 to 60 or something like that. Unemployed. Yeah, I think it was like 55 or something. You guys are saying unemployed, it's a verb. He fucked me up. <laughs> he fired 40 to 60. Fired. <laughs> laid off. They were laid off. <laughs> Even like, released anything, but no, unemployed them. I am the unemployed. But I was reading an article like this morning, actually, before we did the podcast, and um, they're actually like, I guess like the people that are unemployed now, I guess they're gonna have like Sony's trying to give them like jobs to other studios. Yeah. So like they don't like so they can at least so have they, their jobs. They do have a lot of talent. Like they, yeah, their they graphics and job couple crazy like the effects that they had. Like awesome. like you were saying, the end product. Yeah. The game is actually really. Like well, after all the updates that they had, it was fucking amazing. It's amazing. But before all that shit, it was ass. It was total ass. <laughs> it was an only an online I game, and the like servers it. didn't work. I mean, yeah. an only online game, the servers not working. It was fun. I, I think I had like. 28% on like uh, trophies. Wow, that's a lot. It's not a lot at all. I'll be a play. For a racing game, I didn't think oh, I'd ever yeah. go that far. 28% more than the time you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's good for topic two. Topic three, Manhunt and Bully were released on the PlayStation 2. Yeah, they were released on PlayStation 2 again, dude. Wow! Back to 2004. Dude, oh my god, I gotta go out and buy one. I read this wrong. He didn't read this Man wrong. Manhunt and Bully it. are released on the PlayStation 4. Remastered from the remastered PC. from the PlayStation 2. They already had these games on the PlayStation 3 because I bought them both. Yes. So they just brought them again on the PlayStation 4. Manhunt, I didn't like. I think it was obviously outdated. Uh, Bully was actually really good. Bully yeah. pretty I good. I love Bully. Yeah, Bully's and good. I'm hoping I love for a Bully 2. Can we get a Bully 2? I think it's going to happen. After Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm probably going to do Bully 2. Do you think it'll make, like, I don't know if they're going to think it's going to make money. Because Red Dead will make money, GTA will make yeah, money. Yeah, but you see all the hype that Bully and him and Manhunt got? It's all over everything. Hi, man. Did you play any of these two games? I played Bully for like about 20 seconds. <laughs> and it was good? It was pretty because good. Because I did a lot more watching than playing. I watched him play. A long fucking time ago. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Long fucking time ago. It was on PS2 when I bought it. A long fucking time ago. I've known you for like five years. I know. All that five I years did. is a long ass fucking time. I think I knew Paris longer than you. Really? Yeah. So I hated you when I first met you. That's true. He hated my fucking guts. Apparently, I hated. Still does. No, I just, I just ignored. He didn't him. even remember me from the first year. Wait, wait, when did you guys meet each other? In freshman year. Uh, really? Went to the YCA. Wait, wait, you were, you were at a separate school. Yeah. Yeah, but we were in the same class, and I just ignored him so much. Like, it, just, really? it seemed yeah. like I hated him. But I, we, I was asking like, I've known you since second grade, Paris. That's like in uh, third, fourth, fourth, when I came from Worcester. When you were done being like. Greek. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Greek. Yeah, when I, when I was done being Greek, <laughs> actual <laughs> rendition of him. <laughs> yeah, but we knew each other all the time. For a long ass time. Yeah. I thought you, I thought you actually knew Brandon more, longer than me. Oh. No. No. This is more. This is more. Now kiss me. <laughs> Alright, so that's uh. And my game. phone went off. It got locked. Actually, it just. Because he's a goddamn tool. I went to sleep. I woke it up. Topic four. Now I'm gonna sit back, let you guys talk about this one because you guys made uh, it a little bit more, well, a lot more than I have. We're gonna give a little bit of the uh, Hitman review. Not a full review. I mean, it's just your guys' thoughts on the game. Starting with Dylan. <laughs> I think you, you played the. <laughs> Fuck you. Starting with Dylan. That hurt me. My feelings. You know, Dylan purchased the game. He Dylan purchased, oh, the, purchased game. the shit out of that game. Yeah, yeah. he did purchase the shit out. We have an unboxing of the. Collection. Yeah, if you want to check it and out. The, and a game. Because we'll, we're we're going to tell you this every time we have a podcast. Every so time it. we have a podcast. At the end of every episode, except this one, we're going to tell you to go check it out. I'll probably tell them again. Then. Uh, yeah, right. next episode we're going to tell you too. Anyways. Back to what we were saying. I fucking love it, man. He fucking loves it. I think it's... Alright. 
The first time he played it, it was like, oh, I gotta fucking buy this game. I, I said I gotta buy it. I didn't say it ran fantastic. I was actually there when you stated those words. I did. You I said, said it. You said, holy shit, this is a good game. I'm gonna buy this game. <laughs> it was so Obviously, you think it's good, right? Yeah, but like after playing it a second time and a third time on the same level again. Little you can do what you can do in a bunch of different ways, yeah, but I was like, ugh. Oh. Does it get a little bit better? I think I'd rather, like at the end result, when we get all the episodes so into January. one game in January, it'll be a great game. But like I was like, yeah, this is awesome. I can't wait to play it. I can't wait to buy it. And then I just kept playing the same level over and over again. And it's, it can stay fresh, but you, it's a lot of time you got to put into it to keep it fresh because you got to do all these different things. Okay, that's, so that's what I originally level. thought. There's another level you're thinking right now. And there's also the, the, Samaro, the Samaro Six, I think it is. Is it like a big mission? Uh, yeah, it was only it was PlayStation only, I think. And it's like you just you just play six bosses. I know, I kind of like like the episode thing, the episodic thing. I do like, like it, but uh, like I mean, it needs to be released being... more, frank, um, more, <laughs> more frequently. frequently. Yeah, bigger frequency. Every, every two right? weeks, maybe like they release an episode. Yeah, every two and a half, every like 15, 16, 17 days. No, it's just every month. Every it's like, month. Okay. Well, yeah, so they so need time to like fix everything. The up. good thing about having it like every month is like I kind of like your like uh, every month you get a new game. Yeah, like that feeling like oh shit, I got a game, another game coming next month. It's kind of like another. Another episode of the game just keeps building and building. But I, I really think what you're thinking. Yeah. Like, I'm just gonna wait till the whole game comes out. I couldn't. You, you couldn't because could, you're like a really big fan. Like, if this was like a Metal Gear Solid game, for me, I would buy it too. Then if it was Resident Evil, I'd buy it. Exactly. So, so it's like, obviously, that's how it works. Like, if I, I don't really care too much about Resident Evil 6 getting re released. Yeah, I know. I'm buying the fuck out of it. Resident well, he told me he was gonna buy the fuck out of it. I thought it was. I said that to him. I said he's gonna buy the fuck out of it. I'm Ooh. buying the fuck out of it. I'm buying the Resident Evil Origins. I'm buying fucking everything Resident Evil. All right, so Hitman, I would give like a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Uh, I was like, higher, so I'm like between seven point five and eight. I'm not so, sure. Seven point seven five. No, I. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I play it a little more, it'll probably make its way up to an eight. Okay. But like, so at the moment, right, right now it's 7.5. So you think when like, it fully releases, it's like an 8. It yeah. might even make it a little bit higher. That's just they add a little like, release more shit. Yeah. All, the, all together, probably like a 9.5. Jesus. Jesus. I've played it for like, you speak highly, 5 yeah. minutes, 5, 10 minutes maybe. I've seen you play it uh, for like hours. Video. Yeah, we've watched loading screens for hours. Go check it out. Watch gameplay. <laughs> and, uh, and, and we have an unboxing, if you haven't already seen it. <laughs> From what I've played so far, I, I actually like it a lot. Obviously, I don't like the whole episodic thing. You just said you fucking like it. <laughs> I Are like, you fucking high, Paris? I you like, like it. You were like, hey, I like how they're doing the episodic thing, and then no, I didn't. thirty. He literally did. I, uh, thirty I, fucking <laughs> seconds later, you're like, I don't like the whole episodic thing. I like I said before, I like it, but it's like oh, he has a love hate relationship. It's like a love hate. Like yeah. I like having that feeling that every month you're gonna get a new game. But he hates waiting a month every. <laughs> but I'd rather have the whole game now and finish it. When that month comes and he gets the new episode, he's like, wow, this is great, but like... Exactly, but it's Five like, days in, he's like, fuck, fuck it, hey, man. I wish I had the whole thing right now. <laughs> but it's like, the, the few minutes I've played, the few times i watched these guys play... Dude, yeah, and yeah, with the... I'd give it a solid... I might have to go seven. Seven out of four. That's score. fair. That's fair good. with that. That's a good yeah. score. If, I, like, if the whole game was released, I think it would be an E. I just like the many ways you can just... Tackle missions. I like. I, I think that's Dylan's great. like. I'm not liking what he's saying. <laughs> Dylan's like. You gotta give it the nine, dude. <laughs> but the full game nine. But obviously, you know more than me. You played longer, so my score doesn't represent the game at all. I think his score means a lot more. It probably nine. does. So if we got like a seven, seven point five, and a nine, what does that have to do? Anybody know? Off the top probably of an eight. eight. Yeah. Eight point two five, eight, or maybe just short of an eight, like seven point yeah, nine. Like that. It's a good game. I hate, I hate when people say 7 out of 10 is not a good score. Let's say like collectively 8 out of 10. Yeah. So that's a good score. Yeah, 7's not bad. It's like once you hit 6, you're getting into problems. 5 is like average. That is exactly what Dude, 5 average. is. 5 is not average. 7 is average. 7 is average. 5 is average because it's like 50 percent. That's like, half assed. That's half If you get a <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. Half assed. It's half assed. -assed. Alright, I think that's good. Hitman review. Hitman is good. Buy it. 9 out of 10. What'd you give it? Uh, 7.5. What kind of fucking score is that? Even though, <laughs> even though we gave back We all Superman gave back! 8.5. You said it everywhere. I can see it on his lips. <laughs> <laughs>
series, they have to go out with a bang. Okay. They're gonna kill Nathan Drake. Oh, no, no they probably won't. They probably won't. They, they, might. they might. They might. They probably have him retire, but this is a thief's end. I think they're gonna kill Sully, because he's a thief. And and then he'll die, and then Nathan Drake will probably retire, kind of like Sully did, but they'll come back. I think you're right. I think Sully's gonna die. They're gonna have a fifth on Sully. But I would actually like it if Nathan Drake died. Yeah, yeah that would be dope. Fuck. If it happen. would be an epic ending, like he dies some crazy-ass way, that'd be awesome. But the thing is, Nathan Drake represents PS4, like PlayStation in general. So it's like if they kill him off, they have to kill off and his I, like representation of PlayStation. I don't know if they're gonna have the boss to do it, but that would be awesome if they did. If they have the boss to do it. I just, I, Last of Us was fucking amazing. Last it's it's living up to a lot. I think that it's gonna be hard to beat Last of Us. I don't think it's impossible, but they might be able to pull it off. I think like the, the action game. sequence, the gameplay of Charter will beat it. Obviously, because you but can it's like jump around. Sure. And like the story. Games. The story, story, yeah. The story was too epic in the last one. I'm sorry I've had some epic stories. I don't think you've, you've never played Okay, I've, I have like a whole weird thing with it. I've played Uncharted 3, but I haven't played 1 and 2, which makes probably no sense at all. It makes sense. In Uncharted 3, even though I didn't know the characters at all, like, like Nathan Drake's partners and all that, like, it was an amazing game. So I'm just thinking if I played 1 and 2, 3 would have been even better for me. And I keep hearing 2 is the best one in the series. I you like 3 the best. I like 3 so much. Three is all. I can't really say, but I think four will be. I want to say it's gonna be better than the last one, but I don't know if I can make that joke. Dude, I mean, the last one was ten out of ten straight up, though. The last was a beast. Anyway, it's a hard concept. I don't like, think the last one had that perfect story, and the gameplay was fucking awesome. Like the crafting and the like, gunplay was sick. The story for me was what did it? I played. I, think I played it one night. Well, two, two days. I yeah, two, two days. I've also beat it 11 times. Yeah, he's fucking he monster. It. No, wait, no. Oh, it was like 11 times, not counting like four other times. <laughs> yeah. I beat it like seven times on, on PS3 and uh, four times on PS4. That's funny, like when I first bought it, you were like, you gotta play this game. And I didn't, I don't think you I didn't play it. it for like six yeah. fucking months. I didn't play it for yeah, like six I, months. I was like, then I'll get to it eventually. I didn't even have a PlayStation when I played it. I beat it here, just playing every like. I'd be like, <laughs> hey, want to go to Dylan's house so I can play Last of Us? He sat at my house for like three hours a night, just playing Last of Us while I was sat. I just like slept. And like, I remember. Yeah. Not even kidding. I remember when I first played it, I just messaged Dylan. I was like, this game is. Yeah, yeah, I remember crazy. that shit. I was like, this is the best game. I, I'm like, Dylan, I think this might trump. Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. And he's like, no way. Because <laughs> I always thought. No, I think I was like, like obviously. I obviously. Well, for you, obviously. You never played it, though. Yeah, but, but for I me, it's like. Fuck less. I'd always talk about the game, so you're like. Back to uh, Uncharted 4, guys. We totally went off topic. No, technically, right? the last one's part of that. Yeah, yeah, obviously. But. We're technically comparing it. Right? We are. We are. But now we're getting into, into the last one more. It's all the last ones. Because we've played Uncharted 4. So good. <laughs> the, the whole, like. Uncharted 4, though. We, we played the beta, though. I played the beta. I, I watched a little, little bit. Of, yeah. I played a little bit. He yeah, played yeah, a little bit. Um, just like the vine swing and like the, the gunplay like, is so sick. Yeah, online's really cool. I well, it's only about before. I didn't. I just single player. Yeah, yeah. I really like it was single player too. But multiplayer is gonna be fun. We'll all be honest. Yeah, I think it looks. So the Last of Us is multiplayer was the best on the PlayStation by far. For you. For me. For you. Um, I don't think Uncharted Four will be better for me because it doesn't look like you're gonna have too it much like. Doesn't take a lot of effort. effort. You get the well, superpower to fucking work is what you want. Is okay, less up. teamwork. It's gonna be more like running gun. Yeah, that's what it is. Maybe. You like that though. No, I'd rather play last one. Well, mm. it's just because Uncharted is like more like it's more quick, yeah. quick paced. If last one was just a little bit quicker, I'd like it better probably. But like, it's not quick enough. Like I gotta sit back and like craft okay. items and shit like that. See, like it's I fun like, though. It's I really like good. that stuff. Yeah, like, I like that shit too. Like I'm the old school like soul comp player. But like I wanted to craft and be able to run and gun. Like I wanted to be okay. able to do both. Have. Yeah, that's the both worlds, pretty much. You can kind of do that in Last of Us. If you have, like, a lot of gear... Yeah, you have, <laughs> you have to collect so yeah, much shit. You know. And then you go back <laughs> and you can, like, craft 17 Molotovs and just fucking throw them all around. I, I just like that feeling of this... I'm a camper. <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit it. I'm a camper, so I like sitting back, 
waiting for my guys to come up. Come here. And I just fucking mow them down. <laughs> you have a chainsaw? I have a chainsaw. You Fucking sadistic. You guys have any other topics? Any yeah, other topics? Topics, yeah, we got a couple, but uh. Any other. No, no comments. So you think Charter 4 will be better? You? Uh. Uh, I'm gonna 50 50 right now, I don't know. It's so hard to pick, cause I, I, hard, I feel like it's their last game. I know you they have, said that. They gotta go out with a bang, dude. I know it's gonna be fucking amazing. I mean, the thing is, though, his brother's also a thief, so that could be the thief said, I'll, I'll, I'll be so pissed if they kill his brother. Well, I, mean, I won't be mad, but like, Kill like, them all. I want them to kill someone that we love. Oh, and just... I don't even care, but, like... You gotta, you gotta let me borrow a Charter 1 and 2 before I play it. I <laughs> bought him all three. You bought it? They came in all three? Yeah. The collection? Yeah. You said but I played two. three. I played three. Oh, all right, yeah. Probably. I just want to play one and two. Oh, well, actually, yeah. He's probably, played all three. I probably should play three again. Yeah, I'll catch up. Yeah, I gotta finish with three real quick. I'll, yeah. I'll try and catch up. Because I gotta be caught up with all this stuff. All right, let's go. Let's go to the next topic. Next topic, please. Next topic is our most anticipated games of 2016. Uh, who wants to go first? Randy boy. Brandon, you anticipate first. these nuts. So obviously, probably Resident Evil, right? Uh, it's not really. A, it's I want. Isn't it a remaster? It's, it's a remaster, remaster, right? Yeah. But oh, you're probably something. I mean, yeah, I want it, but like, I'm not really anticipating it. Yeah, again. You're not anticipating it again. I, Man, I can't wait till it comes out a second time. <laughs> I have a quick question for you. No. You've played six. You probably played every Resident Evil. Have you played every Resident Evil? I played. I didn't finish zero, and. uh the, w the weird ones that came out, like Code Veronica on the other console that nobody even knows exists. Right. For me, I have the impression that 6 wasn't good. And 5. Well, you have 5 and 6 were too action y, apparently. Uh, yeah. You're out of your fucking mind. I, I, no I never played it, but that's what I keep hearing. So I'm like, was it a real Resident Evil 5 was probably like on 360, like the equivalent to Last of Us. I want to say a lot of people just fucking Holy loved shit. it. It got like a 9.5 and a 10 and oh, just, you know, so many different places and stuff. Yeah. So, to like come off of that, Resident Evil 6 has had so much to prove, it just couldn't do it. I remember obviously. playing the demo of oh, PlayStation 3 6, and it was pretty good. It is. It, it was, oh, it was good. Like, really? down under, like a gym bench or something like that? All something I remember yeah. was fighting this huge monster. Yeah. <laughs> and I was getting my ass kicked every time. I was trying to kill it, and I was like, impossible. But so, you yeah, it, it was hard to like come off from Resident Evil 5. So it it makes sense. Okay, so people kind of dwarfed like by Resident Evil Five. Yeah, plus they changed up a lot of things, like how did, how the, just like gameplay wise. Now it plays more like a Gears of War game than a Resident Evil game did in its past, which I kind of liked honestly because it, it was a nice change in pace. What was that Resident Evil game, the Sonic series? That just I think I don't know if it was a new one. Um, it was Revelation. Yeah, Revelations. yeah. Revelations. I played the first episode. It was pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. Oh yeah, I played it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're all good. good. I think you got kind of <laughs> shitty reviews. I like oh, that. Alright, fuck it, who cares? <laughs> fuck. Alright, what other games? Are we gonna... <laughs> we're all anticipating Uncharted 4, just to say that. Yeah, We're obviously. all anticipating uh, Uncharted 4. We're not gonna even mention it. We were in the year 2016? Yeah. I think so. 100%. 100%. <laughs> 100%. You know which one might get it? Shut the fuck up, Paris. Nothing else. Zero Dawn. No! It's I, made by I, people who made Killzone. They fucked up Killzone. And they I, love Killzone. I love Killzone, too. You don't like uh, the new Killzone? No, I do, but it's like they fucked it up compared to the last ones that they had. Like, they, everybody hated this one. Okay, yeah, I was just gonna say, I was uh, mean to talk to you about the new Killzone, dude. The new, the one from fucking three years ago? Yeah, the newest one. I, so, I, think, I picked it up that late, so for me it's new. About two and a half I'm years. I'm not really so. liking it. I don't like this game. <laughs> <laughs> I only paid like eight bucks for it, but I, I don't think it was very good. I actually deleted it off my list on wow. the PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Zero First Dawn is... Obviously, I think all of us. Yeah. 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 A little bit. I just don't know. Looks good. Um. What other ones? No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. Well, yep. I want that VR. Oh, that'd be amazing. I don't. I, I'm, I'm still not. I'm not buying the VR. VR. I'm not yeah. buying the VR. No, no. Yeah. Fucking I'm gonna buy it. Just not like right away. First, you're gonna get it. Yeah. First. Maybe I'll try yours out. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> I'll let you drop four hundred dollars or something that might suck dick. <laughs> well, if you're gonna get it anyway. Shut the fuck up, Brandon. Should... Let's keep going. Or we could probably split. Paris, I don't like the game attitude. Right now. Anticipate game right now. Right now. right now. By yourself. Right now. Anticipate game. Right now. My most. Yes. No, every game. Everything. Not My most anticipated game was Uncharted 4. Not kind of Followed Uncharted by Horizon Zero Dawn. We already talked really about it. it. Followed by No Man's Sky. We just talked <laughs> about it. Then I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 
this guy, so it's a frag. What? Get the fuck out of the Xenoverse, get out. Xenoverse <laughs> 2. Get him out, get him out. Go to the here. Chinese restaurant. Yeah, go to the Chinese restaurant. There's a Chinese restaurant right over there. Alright, later. Alright, back to. No, don't just go fucking come back. Who do you think you are? <laughs> oh my coaster, shut the fuck up. No one's closer. <laughs> what Santa Claus on it? I don't know, what other games? Do you guys have any more anticipated games? No, not very. I any. do. The fuck you mean? Oh, do you? The fuck oh, you hit him up. Fuck you. Why are you good? Mafia 3. Oh, I forgot about that one. Mafia fucking 3. He a black guy. That's the one. Mm. Is he I'm, black, though? He's half black. But he's Hispanic and black. Ooh, you get to play as Obama. Obama's? Half black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna. Nope, nope, we're gonna ignore that, Bren. We're gonna ignore his retarded ass. Is he and like half what? Half white, half black, Paris. Shut the fuck up! He's half white? Yes, Paris. He's half white. <laughs> you guys play Mafia 2? I don't even know what I can even comprehend after no, that. Never. I played the demo. Mafia 2 is one of the best games so far I ever played. Story was sick in 19, playing like 1930s and 40s was so fucking awesome with the cars and shit and, and the guns. Now I think it's 1960s, 1970s. It's fucking dope. Cool. Then there's Deus Ex Mankind Divided. You guys play Deus Ex? Any? No. Damn, why do I hang out with faggots? Because oh you are God. a faggot. <laughs> oh, what was your last one? I, I forgot. <laughs> and then last is Sniper Elite 4. Yeah, not looking forward to that game, honestly. I mean, I, I wasn't impressed with the uh, gameplay. I mean, I didn't play it. I played the demo again for Sniper Elite 3. Kind of like the yeah, climax of the game, the game was the demo shooting for bullet. Too. That was a dumb one. I'm pretty sure I did. Maybe it was me too. It was me too. I don't remember. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Call of Duty's backwards compatibility. Yeah. I said that wrong, I realized that, but I was hoping no one would notice. I also spelled it wrong the first time I wrote it on here. Put, nobody cares, back. Paris. Right. Yeah, nobody cares, Paris. All right. Go to the Chinese restaurant. Alright, so the 2016's Call of Duty, they're there's a rumor going around that it'll come with Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2. And that would be fucking awesome. But there's also a rumor that it may only be for Xbox because they had backwards compatibility in general. But I don't see why they can't just release downloaded like Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. I also want Modern Warfare 3 because I like that better than the other two. Yeah, that would be great if they did that. That would definitely. That would make it so much more worth it. That would definitely bring in some people to buy it. Is it only on Xbox? We don't know. know. I saw articles that not only mentioned Xbox, but like they did not, they didn't mention PS4. I was like, what the fuck? I think they'll be downloading available, like if you maybe. just have a game on day one. Or maybe they'll just... Oh, oh, fuck, you were you. telling me earlier. It's like they have a deal with PlayStation. Okay, that's what I was just saying. Yeah, Call of Duty has a deal with PlayStation, but that could only be for the, for the month ahead of the DLC. And that's it. But I'm pretty sure they have, they have like rights to a lot of shit now, PlayStation. They have the advertising rights, they have all that shit. I, I assume they have rights to better DLC, which would be... Any better, like, pre-order bonuses, like, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2. Did you play all of them? I played... Yeah, I played a little bit of Modern Warfare, but I, I got PlayStation towards the end. PlayStation 3. played a little bit of 2. I played a lot of 2. 2. But I played Modern Warfare 3 to its fucking end. I played that one a lot with you. I destroyed you. I mean, you're, you're a lot better than me in that game. It's a lot better than you in every game. That's probably true, too. And then we're pretty even in like UFC <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, because UFC is like impossible to fucking do. We don't we, do it, we play it. Yeah. UFC's controls are like. Uh, yeah, they're a little weird. Fucking hold yeah, the we just roll upside we just, down. We just punch each other and kick the whole time. I'm mostly just doing spinning kicks. I'm spinning kicks. Oh, yeah, the spinning kick. Freaking. Hold yeah. yeah, uh. Do you think it's possible? I think it's possible, but. Usually we, don't, that, usually we don't get a lot of nice things from Activision, <laughs> I think I gotta do for uh, this right here. We don't get the money, they get the money. Yeah, our I mean, money. I think a few games have done it before, like previous to this, this whole announcement. Fallout thing did it. Fallout, yeah, they come out with like 3 Fallout and three. 2, didn't they? Did they come with 3 or 2 and 2? Or yeah, I think they came out with a collection, but they also came out with like... Yeah, that was just for PC though, the collection was just yeah. for PC. It was for PC, right? You get Fallout 4, you get Fallout 3. And 2 and 1. Yeah, they did that. That's, I that think a few other games did it too. That would be a collection, Paris. Yeah. Yeah, that's how cool she's doing. Killer Games did it too. I can't remember which one. Yeah, but I mean, we just got fucking ass, like, Activision, Sledgehammer, all the cold. I don't know. Animal. I'd like to see him do it. Treyarch. It would cool. work. I guess we'll see. They would get a lot of sales, man. Oh, yeah. People have been looking for remasters of Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 for years. Since this PS4 and the Xbox came out, they wanted remasters. 
I want Mario Party 3. I was just going to say, so I played that one. That was good. So good. I loved it. And, the, nice and the next Call of Duty that's made by Treyarch, they should do Black Ops and Black Ops 2 with it. That'd be good. Never played those. Dude, what the fuck? Black Ops was amazing. They're really killing us here. I destroyed Black Ops more than I destroyed NW3. Failed freshman year because of it. <laughs> True. <laughs> Stayed the fuck back. <laughs> and I, took, I took 65 days off from school to play Black Ops. And then took some kind of hybrid theory fucking exam and now it didn't fail. I don't know. Yeah, I passed on time. I graduated with these guys. It, didn't, <laughs> it made zero sense. Yeah, I, I should know. not have. It was, it was worth it then. <laughs> Actually, those 65 days weren't just for Black Ops. It was like 30, 40 of them were probably for Black Ops. The other 20 were just kind of like fucking school. Not only 40 days. I had, <laughs> I, had, I, had, I had like, I think 29 days played. <laughs> I lost a lot of weight since then. Oh, yeah. I'm still fat. Imagine that. Imagine, Imagine that. PlayStation. Alright, All right, ju this is just in. This is just Topic in. number 8. PlayStation VR was delayed to October. Wow. Wow. Well, that was just in. That was literally just literally. in. Too bad this won't get up the fucking updated until next week, so. Also, they sold out in 60 minutes on Amazon. But, all right, so that concludes episode two of our Drawing Blanks podcast. I'm Dylan, that's Max, this is Brandon. that's Brandon, and that's Paris. Peace out. Subscribe. Fuck up. Subscribe, comment, like.